دوچرخه قرمز هنوز خواب میبینم دوچرخه قرمزم را بر ساحل سبز تابستان سایه موهایم پریشان در آب مشقهایم پر از حبه های انگور بزرگ شدن قد کشیدنی دشوار بود در هوای خار و سنگ از کف دادن یک یک تیله های رنگارنگ و بی هم بازی کنار کوچه نشستن با دوچرخه زنگ زده در انبار عکسی از جاده سبز بر دیوار Red bicycle I still dream of my red bicycle on the green shores of summer my unruly hair casting shadows on the water my schoolwork peppered with grape pips pulling away growing up was hard in that weather of thorns and stones I let the bright shiny marbles slip from my fingers one by one no one to play with I sat by the side of the road, my bicycle rusty in the shed, that green shore, a picture on the wall. Um, we're going to carry on now, I'm going to read the poem first of all in English, um, and then you'll, you'll hear the Persian following. Um, and just as we pick up from um, Matty's lovely introduction, Azita and I first worked together on a pamphlet, we were brought together through the Poetry Translation Centre by the poet and the director of the, of the centre, Sarah Maguire, and um, she brought us together through a literal translator, because I, I don't speak Farsi. So we came together through Elun Shakarazar, um, as you just says her name properly, I say it in my version of it, Elham Shakarifar. And Elun's a filmmaker, um, somebody who loves poetry, reads a great deal of poetry, um, and has a, a fantastically visual um, way of looking at the world. So she's a kind of perfect bridge between Azita, whose, whose work is very visual, I think, between Azita's poetry and, and me finding a way to write these versions in English. So it's been a three-way thing between the three of us, and it's been a wonderful relationship over now about five or six years. And so we're, we're incredibly excited to see the book with great thanks to Fadax and Poetry Translation Centre for it. So here we go. So this is um, the next poem that um, going to read, which is called Freedom in English. Even when you are no longer here, you sit there, opposite me, the light burning beside you. So how did those big white sails become little paper handkerchiefs or change into bruised water lilies, tying as hatched as a yellow ant and nibbled away at my fingers? Oh, the scent of your tender young blush, the colour of raspberries, red, a searing red, and the books the fire consumed are ashes now, scattered to the wind. Even when you are no longer here, you stand there, opposite us, you hold up a light in the darkness, and you call us by our names. آزادی حتی وقتی که نیستی روبروی من نشسته ای و چراغ کنار تو می سوزد پس چگونه آن همه بادبان سفید دست مال کوچکی شد بر زانوان پیر زنی با نقش مقموم نیلوفری کبو آونگ ساعت موریانی زردی شد و انگوشت های ما را جوید عطر داغ گونه های کال تو را رنگ آن تمشک ها که چیده بودی سرخ سرخ و کتاب ها را آتش خاند و باد برق زد حتی وقتی که نیستی روبروی ما ایستاده ای چراغ را در ظلمت بالا گرفته ای و ما را به نام می خانی
Persisha's life from living um, in Iran through much difficulty and loss over many years um, took her then to live in Sweden. And you'll hear through the poems that we're going to read a sense of that progression. So moving from Iran and having to leave family and loved ones, moving to Sweden, becoming used to a new country. Um, and as he just published many collections of poetry, so in this one book, we've tried to give a sense of that movement. The very first poem that you heard, Red Bicycle, is a very early poem, I think, as if you wrote it when you were 20, maybe? Red Bicycle, very young. Um, and the poems, as we, as we go through, are <coughs> at different stages um, and reflect something of, of the different moments in Azita's life over, over the years so far. So this poem, uh, which reflects something, I think, about those changes, this poem is called That Which Once I Was. All the different men and women I have been, the sleep that has seen my dreams, your dreams that I have lived out, every sadness that stays with me so that I weep songs, hidden melodies, zephyrs that are the music of my life, every woman I have ever been, blown from place to place by the wind, your eyes, so many faces, your face, my eyes, every shape that I have ever taken, Stones, birds, trees, every tree, bird, stone that I have ever been, every snowfall, every ocean that has swilled through you, every different road that I have walked, my footsteps, the footsteps of others, and each of your roads too, all the songs that I have sung through your mouth into the face of every woman, every man that I have been. آنچه بوده ام همه زنها تمام مردانی که بوده ام خوابهایی که رویاهای مرا دیدند رویاهایتان که من زیستم اندوهی که مانده بود تا من بگریم رودها بادها و ترانههای و پنهان که اینجا وزیدند در هنگامهای من تمام زنهایی که بودم نشانه هایی که باد جا به جا کرده است چشم های تو و چهره های بیشمار رخصارت و چشم های من تمام پیکرها که بوده ای سنگ ها کبوتران و کاج ها کاج ها سنگ ها و کبوترانی که بوده ام. تمام برف هایی که باریدم دریاهایی که در تو چرخیدند راه های دیگری و گام های من گام های دیگری و راه های تو تمام آواز هایی که خواندم با دهان تو چهره تمام زن ها همه مردانی که بودم So this next poem, Everywhere, um, I think it doesn't need an introduction, so Everywhere. I am waiting for you. In Belgrade, in Moscow, I look out for you. In Baghdad, my eyes scour the streets for you. In desolate places, cosy corners, in snowstorms, in dingy cafes, at the off-license, in side streets, in room 367 and every other hotel room. At the dark end of the street, in the pitter patter of rain, in torn, wet newspapers, among the stories of war, prostitution, and small outs for kittens, in the sonnets of Shakespeare, or the tenth line of Akhmatova's final poem, in every tatty, forgotten novel at the flea market, in every flower petal pressed between the pages of a book, in Lorca's songs, where the cypress trees bend low, when I drink the dregs of every bottle. When I gulp down every glass, I'm waiting for you. Whether your name is Alex, or Gabriel, or Hidad, in autumn, on the day of your birthday, or in summer, in the rattle of a train, in the sound of the ship's whistle as it leaves, on every tired old blue bus, by the ticket seller's booth, sitting on the sofa, in the surface of every painting, 
I am waiting for you. Here I am in the grave in which you buried me, the one you forgot. In my wedding dress, in the moonlight of a Chagall painting, naked, stretched out on a milky-coloured velvet sofa, my apron greasy and covered in stains, I am longing to see you. Are you rushing back to me, or are you dragging your feet? In just a camisole, in a shroud, or in a hat that you don't like, armed with yellow tulips, a Kama Sutra, a bottle of wine, with all the same old tricks that you loved so. Wherever you lose yourself, whichever way you turn, in every station on this earth, I am waiting for you. Have you job? در انتظار تو هم در بلگراد در موسکو منتظرت بودم چشم به راه تو هستم در بغداد در دنج های خلوت برفی کافه های گنجل عرق فروشی و پس کوچه ها اتاق سی و شست و هفت تختی در تمام هتل ها در کنج تاریک خیابان و جرجر باران روزنامه هایی که خیس و مچاله از اخبار جنگ، آگهی روز بیخانه، اعلان فروش گربه ها. در سنات شکسپیر، سطر دهم ده از شعر آخر آنا اخماتوا. هر رمان پوسیده فراموش در کهن فروشی، هر گلبرگ خشکیده در لای کتاب، در ترانه لرکا جایی که سرف ها خم می شوند. جرعی از تهی هر بطری قلوبی از تمام لیوان ها منتظرت هستم. اسمت آلکس است اگر گابریل یا حداد پاییز است روز تولدت تابستان یا خرداد. با قطار هایی که آمدند کشتی هایی که بوغ زدند وقت فرار. هر اتوبوس لکنده آبی رنگ کنار دکه فروش بلیت روی سک و زیر تمام تابلوها منتظرت هستم. بوری که در آن دفنم کردند و یادت رفت با لباس عروسی زیر نور ماه در نقاشی شابان به رهن نمیده روی کناپه مخمن شیری رنگ با همین پیش بند آش پس خانه چربه پر از لکه ها منتظرت هستم داری با شتها میایی یا برمیگردی بی حوصله با همین زیر پوش و کفن و کلاهی که دوستش نداری با لاله های زرد کتاب کاماسوترا و شیشه شراب به همان اسم و قرار و حقه هایی که آشغش بودی هر جا گمشنی از هر طرف بپیچی در تمام ایسگاه های زمین منتظرت هستم the next poem um, that we're going to read is called uh, Glaucoma. And um, Zita thought that Glaucoma, um, the image of Glaucoma, the illness which involves um, a narrowing of the vision, was a very good way of thinking about what had happened to her country. Glaucoma. The corn poppies came first, then the locusts, and after that the unraveling wind. That was how childhood looked to you, before the dark water, before the thorns, before the mountain range of a thousand mosques cast shadow over those wild flowers. First the poppies went, then grandmother, then the royal rooms grew shabby. The photos of Oppenheimer, the Mamba, the red furniture, everything went to the second-hand shop. Joyous accordions and flags of mourning, Turks and Kurds, little blue patterned headscarves, all passed us by in the street. By appointment two, the princes, my father's brothers, were stamped on every cup and shisha. My mother, first in line for Friday prayer, kept her back to me. My brother joined the Basish. First the locusts come, then the poppies. No, first the poppies went then the locusts. 
The hollow of the eye fills with snow. The valleys of winter are white. Then come the thorns and the dark waters. Oh, Monsieur. شبای پا اول آمدند و من خوابد وقت باد این تمام کودکی چشم های تو بود پیش از آب سیاه و تیر رشته های هزار مسجد از گل های دیوانه رد می شد اول شبای پا رفتند بعد مادر بزرگ و اتاق نمور شازده عکس اوپنهایمر و پاتریس لومبا مبل قرمز در حراجی الیاس چارقت های بتدار آبی رد شدند آکاردون و پرچم های ازا تورک ها کورد ها اموهایم با عکسشان ته قلیان مادرم در صفحه اول نماز جمعه پشتش به من برادرم عضو بسیج اول ملخ ها می آیند و بعد شمایق ها نه نه اول نه نه اول شمایق ها رفته بودند و ملخ ها گودی چشم از بر پر می شد در رهای زمستان سفید سفید بعد تیغ است و آب های سیاه um, This is the last poem that we're going to read now a poem called Prison um, and I'm sure there's lots of you there um, who write poetry and, and read poetry and give us a great deal and one of the things um, that Desita and I have talked about a lot um, is the gift that poetry gives us to be able to express very difficult things sometimes indirectly um, and of course if you are also in personal danger that's a second kind of gift I think so in this poem I think you might get more of a sense of some of the, the dangers um, that have been ever present in Asita's life and the difficulties but also that great gift that um, poetry has given her so this poem is called Prison One step at a time blindfolded you go down into the dark deep down, over the slippery edge of dreams, past the sour breath of death, unfinished laughter caught in your throat, now that green uniforms surround you. There is nowhere else to go, only a room with no door, and the stink of camphor. Is this a dragon's lair, or in these infinite depths, am I to be torn apart some other way? Mother, it is as if you have swallowed me whole, nameless, a blind fetus amongst these twisted roots, where I suck my bloody thumb. The earth's pulse beats through my temples, asking questions, asking questions. Fear eats away at my umbilical cord. I fall back into nothingness. In this world, the only sound is the rustle rustle of paper and the buzz buzz of insects on my hand in my heart, but everywhere they are watching us, in the long queues, in the sanctuary of dreams, in the tears that fall on my fingertips, in the dregs at the bottom of cups and glasses, in the green shaded silence of the willows, a demon hides. Quietly, from inside the narrow telephone wires, something listens in, say nothing. The world is merciless, impossible to find words for, it silences us. But like a welt from a whip, the trace of a kiss will remain. Love is a match for death. Terror arrived, looking so graceful, offering its poisoned cup. Women strolled in through the opening gates to applause, clap, 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 to a confetti of sweets, a row of brides, but faces white as a sheet and eyelashes gathering dust. I was bride of that prison amongst the dark leaves of loneliness. The flowers that I held were handcuffs. Mother, the earth that I grabbed at was your apron strings, a bright shadow of hell and nightmare, and the bitter wine I drank was your milk. I've always been your child, 
an ancient newborn swaddled in mud, a tiny, tired little person in search of the hidden spark of the fire. I push the night to one side and look at the skeletons with the bullets in their chests. A memory comes to me, and once again the moon is rising behind the pines. A nonchalant young cricket chirrups. The scent of orange blossom floods everything, and despite my pain, life comes into flower obstinately once more. Shaved heads, broken fingers, torn, flayed skin, yet thick water lilies speckled with blood open out in my soul. I am alive in poems yet to be sung, in fragments of myself scattered to the wind. Senda. پله پله با چشم بند تیره در ظلمت پایین می روی گودی خواب ها دیوار های لیز وزش بوی ناک مرد هنوز ماسید کنج لپایت خنده های ناتمام که گردت می چرخند ارواح سبس پوش دیگر در زمین جایی نیست مگر اتاقی بی دریچه اینجا بوی کافور میدهد نمیدانم در کنام اجده ها چرخ میزنم یا پلنگی سیاه دندان میساید بر بازوان و دستانم جر در اعماق تاریکی آه مادر انگار بر ایده ای مرا و نامی ندارم همچون جنین کور میان ریشه های پیچان شست خونینم را میمکم نبز زمین در شمیقه های من میتفد سوال میکنند سوال میکنند وحشت بند نافم را جریده است فرو می افتم در مقاکی بی انتها در جهان صدایی نیست صدایی نیست مگر خشخش کاغذ ها بزبز حشراتی قریب روی دست و دلم همه جا نگاه ما می کردند در صفحای بلند یا درون خلوت رویاها مانده شوره های عشق بر ناخن یا آنچه دور بسته بر ته فنجان و جام ها میان خاموشی سبز فام بیت ها دیوی پنهان است هیولای گوش خوابانده درون سیم های باریک آرام بگذرید و سخن نگویید جهان چونین بیره بود و نگفتی نگفتی که رد بوسه ها میماند چنان که جای تازیانه بر پهلو و گرده ها و عشق عشق قامت مرگ بود خرامان آمد در پیاله دستش جرعی زهرالود در مازه را می گشایند حالا هل هله می کنند نوخ می پاشند سفی از عروسان با گونه های پرید رنگ و مجه های گردالود عروس سیاه چالم من میان ساقه های سیاه دلتنگی با گلهایی از فلز بر دستانم مادر این زمین دنباله دامن تو بود سایه روشن دوزخ و رویا و آن شراب تلخ که نوشیدم شیر تو بود من همیشه کودک تو نوزادی پیر پیچید در گنداقه گل و لای انسانی خورد کوچک و خسته در جستجوی بزره پنهان آتش شب را پس میزنم شب را پس میزنم و نگاه میکنم به اسکلت هایی که گلوله از صبح میان سینشان دارند به یاد میآورم باز ماه برآمده از پشت کاج ها سیر سیرک جوان بی خیال می خاند بهار نارنج عطر می افشاند پشت زخم هایم زندگی گل می دهد دوباره 
آن گیسوان بریده انگوشت های شکسته و پوست پار پاره را بیاورید بالا خزیدند از روح هم نیلو فرانی درشت با شتکی از خون من زنده ام من زنده ام در شعرهای ناسروده در تکه های گم شده در باید.